Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike here, Mike's Weather Page. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, Monday, here on YouTube, our little afternoon quickie. We do these a lot during the tropical season, and uh, we're getting more views. Appreciate all the likes and subscribers to the page here, and uh, trying to make it grow, so thank you. Uh, so what, what are we talking about? Well, we've been talking about this low pressure area in the Gulf, and uh, it's still there. It's still coming this week, couple days. Uh, we got an old frontal boundary here. You can see it very well. This is weathernerds.org, water vapor map. And uh, this is it. It's an old frontal line. You can see it clear as day, bringing in a lot of moisture uh, across uh, Florida today, down in the Keys, a lot of lightning. Uh, it's going to just keep things kind of juicy the next several days. But some of this energy is gonna, going to uh, break off here, and uh, you're going to see the chances of a broad low here develop. And it's going to pretty much go north with um, some pretty good winds and rain, squall lines, the feeder bands are still uh, expected. Heavy rain across the north. And, and we are going to get some action here we're going to get into. But this is where we're going to be watching tomorrow on Tuesday mainly. Uh, now, there's a couple of things kind of uh, going against our system right now. We have um, water temperature maps here. Now, the, the middle of the Gulf is in the 80s, typically 79, 80 degrees is what tropical systems like. Um, but we do have a lot of wind shear. And if we go back to that last map, you can see uh, upper level wind shear is really strong. Those are winds coming in from the west. So... And, this, and the second thing, so two things, it's going to have uh, a lot of wind shear above it, and we have lack of time. This thing's only going to have a day, maybe two. Sometimes tropical systems need a little more time to get tightened up when they're a very broad low. But it's going to be interesting to watch nonetheless. NHC not marking it. This is the graphic we always look at. I have it on my site. They're not even colored it, so chances of our lean are very slim. In fact, I don't think we've had a system in the Gulf in April ever. So a little early, a little early. Uh, but let's get into it. Um, water temperatures are there. Let's take a look at a, a future modeling map. This is the HRR. We're, all, we're, we're getting into that 48-hour window range here that we can actually start to see what the thinking is. So this is tomorrow morning. You can start to see the Gulf really going to start juicing up. This is where I'm going to be really watching tomorrow and just kind of see. This is going to be over those 80-degree waters. Uh, and the HRR is kind of picking up, you know, heavy, heavy uh convection out here we're already starting to see some storms tomorrow up in the upper gulf some of these are going to be pulling across uh, the keys in south florida uh, but you can start to even see a little spinach here on future radar uh, as this thing starts to take shape this is uh, wednesday morning so uh, you know it's it's going to feel tropical we're going to have uh, feeder bands rolling in later tuesday in the, and especially wednesday uh, across the upper gulf and uh it'll feel tropical let's look at the latest models uh, tropical tidbits this kind of give you an idea this is the euro there's our little bit of spin storms going up into the upper gulf on two uh, th later tuesday and wednesday now what happens with all of our models is it's going to pick up our old front it's going to pull it with it so as our low kind of weakens and pulls on out that frontal boundary that we saw here on weather uh, nerves this little guy here now is going to become more uh, diagonal and it's going to pull up through the state so we're going to see a lot more rain chances on Thursday here across the peninsula as this thing pulls on out. Some of that rain might e even make the East Coast on Friday. Nothing too organized. Um, but again, you know, tomorrow night and Wednesday, I'm I still think we're going to see some squally weather here across the upper Gulf. It's going to be a little sneaky once it's over that warm water. Latest GFS, Wednesday morning, big old blob of uh, rain and probably some storms there. Smack dab in the middle of the upper Gulf. And here's that heavy rain on Thursday for the Florida Peninsula. So... Sneaky little storms might be rolling in here uh, across the Florida Peninsula on Thursday uh, to watch. Uh, latest icon, about the same thing. Icon showing our uh, weak low pressure system taking shape here. That's the 18Z. Here's the 12Z. And, you know, you got an idea. So, hey, a little, little weak spinach. And uh, that's Wednesday. And then there's our Thursday Peninsula rain into the southeast for Thursday. Uh, some of the vorticity maps, there's, these are fun to look at. These just kind of tell you the spin in the atmosphere. You can kind of see some of this energy comes in actually a little bit from Texas side, but the main fuel source is this old front. And you can just see the, the lower level spin take shape. You know, this is, looks more impressive than it really is, but it does show that we have weak spinach. Even the GFS is showing uh, some sort of spinach as it pulls back up. So that's about it. Nothing's really changed. Uh, if you're wondering what's going on on the East Coast, Southeast Coast, Georgia, even Carolina, some, we got a tremendous amount of wind blowing in from the Atlantic still today. It was there last night. We got coastal flood advisories up uh, for a big part of the, uh, the East, Southeast, all the way down to uh, Florida. We also have some uh, flood advisories here into uh, New Orleans and parts of Mississippi as this thing. It's been uh, blowing in strong east winds. These are winds coming in out of the uh, east. And look, it's, it's, you know, they're going to build. You know, this is uh, 
uh, overnight tonight and uh, into tomorrow. So windy day. We got a lot of uh, coastal action going on. The uh, <clears throat> latest Euro here showing they slowly die down uh, tomorrow. But then look what happens where, where, wherever our little system sets up. These are your wave heights. Could be some pretty big waves. 20, 22, 25 feet out here in the Gulf uh, on wind, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday as this thing starts to build. Even though our low might be here, we're, you know, the Euro showing, you know, 20 foot seas plus. So pay attention to that. As far as rain goes, eh, still heavy, heavy rain upper golf. We're looking at three, four, five, six inches here, wherever this thing goes up. Smack dab, you know, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, tip of Florida. Uh, East Coast is getting more than the West Coast because a lot of this is flowing in from the Atlantic. Um, but we still show an inch, inch plus for a lot of people in the peninsula. So don't, you know, don't give up. And uh, the way it's going to look here, it basically, is there's our six-hour precipitation maps, and you can just kind of see the flow as it gets on out of here. Most of it's gone by the weekend uh, for everybody. So, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday here, Thursday here, and Friday there. So, anyway, hope that made some sense. Uh, we'll be live Wednesday morning, uh, 919 Eastern for the Daily Brew. Um, and uh, we'll keep track of this tomorrow. I'll definitely be on this all day tomorrow watching it. So, all right, have a great night. Bye-bye.